Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing a couple of Slick 500 analog modules. The first one is the 1746NI4. Now this has a connector at the front that you plug into, a Phoenix type connector, and it also has four little slide switches in it. This allows you to choose either plus minus 20 milliamps or plus minus 10 volts for the range of the analog input and that's for each channel, there's four slide switches. Now we're going to use this, mod this analog input module driven from this analog output module. This is a 1746NO4I. Now the 4I is current module, current output only that goes from 0 to 21 milliamps. It can be powered either from the back plane through the connector here or you can flip the switch here it's hard to see I know from here and you can tie your external 24 volts to the module so if you've got a large rack with a large uh, number of modules and you can have an external power supply to lessen the load on your chassis power supply. Now these are actually quite simple to use and quite and the nice thing with having these two, um, we've got an analog output to an analog input, and we also have uh, meters, they're four channels each. Uh, our standard analog meters are wired into them too. So, what we'll do is we'll get swung around here um, so that you can see the setup and you can see the screen, and the as we test them, you can see what's going on. We have a very simple test program sh uh, written up and these modules are actually some of the simpler ones to use. So we'll be right back. Okay, here's our setup. On the right hand side we have the NO4I output and on the left hand side, looking at the screen, we have the NI4. Now, I'll just step around here. The NO4I, each channel is independent. So Here's our positive output and it goes up to the meter which we'll show here in a second. The negative goes to the negative of the analog input and this is the negative off the meter which comes back as positive so that we have a, a continuous series loop and all four channels are wired the same. So we go from the module and we go up loosen this up here and back off a bit so there's our four channels wired in can't get much simpler than that so as you can see right now the on the right hand side are the four analog meters Let me back up a little bit now the whole idea of this particular test is to be able to see if all four of them track the same because you're putting the same value into the output module and you want to read the input module to see make sure that you're getting this, the same value back. Now the same value back is uh, a relative term in this case because the analog output goes 0 to 32, 32767. The analog input being a plus minus, that 32767 is spread over the, from minus to plus. So you're only into the 18,000 or 8,000 and something, you know, 8,500 as maximum positive. <coughs> excuse me, or reverse. So if I take and right now I'm putting a value of 16,000 out which gives us about 10 volt or 10 milliamps. If I change that to 32,767 gotta be in the right spot here Thirty-two, seven, sixty-seven. I'll show you this in a sec. 
you can see how the meter moves all the way over. Now our analog input reads that as 17,180 70, 170 to 180 depending on the how that each channel works so that's how if we put uh, zero in we get zero out so that shows each of the four channels works properly it shows on the, and we'll swing around to the screen here and uh, just get set up so you can see the screen as it as I go step through the programming on here we go, be right back. Okay, so here's the screen. So, when you're doing your setup originally, you have your I.O. configuration on the left hand side. So you go into the I.O. Um, I've read the I.O. It shows our two modules, which you can see there. Um, if you hit advanced configuration, there's nothing to configure. It just says, there it is, maximum input and output words for the NO, NI4. If we go to the current module, same thing. So it automatically does your configuration for you just by clicking on Advanced Configuration. That's all you have to do. Um, then you can read your... In this case, I'm putting... I've got a little timer. I multiply the accumulated by a number and put that in to um, have the modules go up and the uh, current go out up and down back and forth to zero. If I go down to the manual input I take my N11 which is currently at zero I put in 32767 to give me maximum output which you can see here on the NO4i and if we go down here to the bottom so there's our output to each channel, 32767. On the input, on the NI4, it shows us 17186, 178, 171, 184. So all of those counts are well within range of accuracy. And if we take a, I have a Fluke um, 771 analog meter and put it on the right way, there's an arrow on it there we are, I put it on to channel 0 there we go 20.78 milliamps hopefully we can see that there is what it shows as the output on a 0 to 21 milliamp module so that's pretty close and you can use this to check all of them and they should all be pretty close 20.79 uh, channel 2 and 20.79 so that shows doing it this way shows the accuracy of the both modules it shows that all channels work it shows that you're getting an actual output that you can work with to operate your analog device whether it be an input or an output and be able to make use of the uh, programming. So there we go. Uh, I know I rambled a little bit but uh, that's all I have on on these two modules. Come back anytime, subscribe if you'd like and thank you very much.